Hi, I'm E.B. Kevin and welcome back to my channel. I took a week off to rest a bit and get more energy and I'm back with another video. Today, I'm going to share with you three ways to prepare for the new year. The new year is a new season, a new chapter of your life, so it's crucial to prepare it mentally, spiritually and effectively to make the most of it and enjoy it. You've got to prepare for the new year before the new year so you'll be mentally and spiritually empowered, strengthened, organized and ready to tackle the challenges that you are likely to face next year and overcome them and take the right actions. The first way to prepare for the new year is to set goals for the new year. Write down the things that you want to accomplish throughout the year. In my opinion, it's better to set new year goals than to make new year's resolutions. And here's why. First of all, a resolution is a firm decision to do or not to do something, while a goal is a desired result you attempt or want to achieve. Most people make New Year's resolutions because they are excited about starting a new year without being mentally prepared for change. They are led by excitement and since excitement doesn't last, they give up on their New Year's resolutions quickly. That excitement is often referred to as the candy bar effect. Is the same kind of letdown as when the initial rush of sugar subsides after you eat a candy bar. It's also like when you listen to a motivational speech, you get excited, motivated, and all charged up. But unfortunately, that excitement doesn't last and you are no longer motivated. And some people fear change and are afraid to get out of their comfort zone. So it's hard for them to keep their New Year's resolutions. And some people make New Year's resolutions because other people do it and not because they actually have the zeal or eager for change. They see it as a custom. Therefore, they give up on their New Year's resolutions. If the motive behind your New Year's resolutions is not right, you won't be able to stay the course. In addition, according to a Statista survey, only a small share of people who make New Year's resolutions actually keep them. On the other hand, setting new goals for the new year and writing them down can help you achieve them. A study on goal setting conducted by Dr. Gail Matthews, a professor of psychology at the Dominican University in California, shows that you are 42% more likely to achieve your goals if you write them down. With all, your goals should be SMART, which stand for Specific, Measurable, Attainable, Realistic, and Time Bound. And don't share your goals with anyone, as most people will put you off. And studies have shown that when you share your goals, your brain mistakes the talking for the doing. So it makes you feel like you've already achieved them. It makes you feel good. And also, people don't what people don't know they can't destroy. Keep in mind that not everyone wants to see you win, so stay low key. Set your goals before the new year. Set daily goals, monthly goals, and yearly goals. I explain how to set these goals effectively in one of my videos. I highly encourage you to watch it afterwards if you haven't watched it yet by clicking on the link in this video description. The second way to prepare for the new year is to make a plan. A goal without a plan is a wish. A plan is a map, a guide, a target, a strategy, a direction, a focus, or a path. It helps you to be organized, achieve your goals, and monitor your progress. Create a plan for reaching each goal and incorporate the task needed to be accomplished. 
For example, if your monthly goal is to save 30% of your income, your plan should be to avoid unnecessary expenses. Or if your daily goal is to work 16 hours a day, your plan should be to avoid any distractions while working. So your plan states how you will achieve your goals. It helps you get to your destination. The third and final way to prepare for the new year is to stay in prayer. From a Christian and spiritual perspective, tragedies always happen towards the end of the year. So it's important to pray for yourself and your loved ones for protection and stay vigilant when you go out. Also pray for God to strengthen you and lead you throughout the year to do His will and make the right decisions. If you prepare for the new year with God, He will be with you throughout the new year. Have a prayer schedule and pray consistently in this month of December. As the Bible says, never stop praying. You can pray for 30 minutes a day or even more. Some people pray for hours a day, but do it according to your spiritual strength. The most important thing is to be consistent whether you pray 10 minutes or 2 hours a day, even though long prayers have more spiritual benefits. Prayer will empower you to make the most of the new year and fill you with the Spirit of God. Let your request for the new year be made known unto God and enter the new year with Him. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. If yes, don't forget to share it and stay tuned for the next video.